I'd like to welcome you this evening to our Science on Tap lecture series sponsored by Heineken. I'm Dr. Lisa Hoops. I'm the nutritionist here at the aquarium for those that don't know me. Um, we have a very exciting lecture and panel tonight. The American Academy of Forensic Scientists are here and uh, they've brought some of their experts with us and they will be talking about some very interesting topics. I'd like to introduce Dr. Bruce Goldberger, and he will then introduce the panel for me. Dr. Bruce Goldberger is Professor and Director of Toxicology in the Department of Pathology, Immunology, and Laboratory Medicine in the College of Medicine at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Go Gators. <laughs> he, hold, <laughs> he holds a joint professor position in the Department of Psychiatry in the College of Medicine and is also Director of the William R. Maple Center for Forensic Medicine and Program Director for the Florida Emergency Mortuary Operations Response System. And I'll let you ask him what that's all about. Um, Dr. Goldberger is also Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Analytical Toxicology, is a member of the editorial boards of the journal Forensic Sciences and the Forensic Science Review. He is an active member of the American Academy of Forensic Science and the Society for Forensic Toxicologists. And he has been featured on numerous local, state, and national radio, television, and print media, including ABC's Good Morning America, 2020, Nightline, Dateline NBC, CNN, MSN NBC, Fox News, Court TV, Discovery Health and History, and probably mo most interestingly, VH1. Um, <laughs> If he looks familiar to you, it's because you may have seen him on television as part of the Casey Anthony trial. So please help me in welcoming Dr. Bruce Goldberger. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, thanks to the aquarium for uh, having us here this evening. The title of our uh, program tonight is Underwater CSI and Other High-Profile Cases. We have a distinguished panel of, of experts and speakers, and uh, you, you probably recognize Jeff in the middle. <laughs> so, but I'm, sh I'm sure that's not why you came, to, to, to hear only Jeff, but you came to hear a, a lot of other uh, good stuff. So uh, just a little bit about the Academy, but even before I do that, uh, how many people know what forensic science is? And uh, forget about those people with the, the banners on your neck. <laughs> we have quite a few from the Academy, so that's really great. And good, some young people, too. But uh, I'll read you what the Academy's definition of forensic science is. It's our official um, wording. So it's forensic science is the application of scientific principles and technological practices to the purposes of justice in the study and resolution of criminal civil and regulation issues. So that's not the exact definition I use. I'm a forensic toxicologist, so I use a slightly different definition, but that's the, the textbook definition. Now, the American Academy of Forensic Sciences, uh, who are we? And we're a multidisciplinary professional organization that provides leadership to advance science and its application to the legal system. The objectives of the Academy are to promote professionalism, integrity, competency, education, foster research, improve practice, and encourage collaboration in the forensic sciences. This program tonight is part of our educational outreach, which we started uh, three years ago, and I'm really proud to be part of that as a past president of the Academy. It was something that I had on my agenda is to reach out to people besides forensic scientists to, to tell them about what we do. I think I'm going to skip the rest about the Academy and get on to the science. So, uh, we, we have uh, lots to cover tonight. So our first speaker is uh, Dr. Joseph Finley, Jr. He's currently the principal of St. Mark Catholic School. I haven't talked about that. I don't know how you yeah, got there. Yeah. Uh, in Boynton Beach, Florida, which is a private Catholic school pre-K to eighth grade. Uh, further, he's vice president of SAR Dive, Inc., a company that specializes in underwater search and recovery matters, public safety dive training, as well as maritime compliance issues. Dr. Finley is a retired special agent of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I think he's wearing his pin, right? Uh, special pin. Uh, and he was in that capacity for over 29 years. 
Since 1987, Dr. Finley was a special operations group of the FBI, while assigned to the New York Division, was a member of the New York office scuba team. You got a lot here, but, um, and I'm not going to read it all because it's just a waste of time. But he did tell me he spent three months at, uh, <laughs> uh, three months in New York City after 9 11. So thank you for your hard work at uh, Ground Zero. So coming up, Joe. Well, good evening, everyone. And I, I, I must um, give a kudos where kudos are due. I am what they call gator bait tonight. We have an illustrious panel of three uh, University of Florida gators. I am a hurricane. Have mercy on me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> surrounded by bulldogs. Surra oh, and surrounded by bulldogs. That's even better. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, tonight, basically, I want to run, run through um, a topic that sounds uh, a lot sexier than it really is, underwater crime scene <laughs> investigation. The basic nuances that you see on television, the basic applications of the physical sciences uh, uh, that you see on television are just that. It's television. There's a lot of hard work, there's a lot of effort, there's a lot of energy that goes into uh, any type of uh, crime scene investigation. And it is not all glamorous and it does not all uh, end the way uh, we would like it sometimes. Uh, it's a process that you need to have diligence, you need to have uh, a lot of uh, patience, and you need to have a lot of understanding that it's circumstantial evidence. That, that, that means it is circumstantial, but you can build a wonderful case around circumstantial evidence. Basically, the, uh, the mission uh, uh, is up here as we speak. The mission of an underwater search and evidence response team is to locate, document, and recover items of an evidentiary nature from an underwater environment that are related to cases in which the law enforcement community is or may be a part of interest in. Now, a lot of uh, local jurisdictions have um, uh, various types of public safety divers, uh, uh, fire department, uh, volunteer, first responders. Uh, an underwater search and evidence recovery team is not a first response team. Okay. The evidence isn't going to drown. There's nobody in danger of losing any evidence that's sitting in the bottom of a lake that's been there for a few weeks or a month. So it's a very uh, methodical, uh, very thought out, very technical process you go through. Uh, most evidence response teams do not get involved in, in first responder issues. Just organizational chart. Every team, every group, every uh, organization needs to have some sort of hierarchy. It's no different in, in, the, uh, in our community for the under, underwater search and evidence recovery. You know, basically the positions are self-explanatory. You know, most of the funding for any of you, do we have any law enforcement that are involved in this out there tonight? Anybody? Any law enforcement? Any scuba divers? Scuba divers? Good. Any professional scuba divers? Uh, instructors? Okay, good. Any public safety divers? Anybody that does? Good. Welcome. Welcome. You know, there has to be organization, depending upon what kind of a group you're in. The funding may come from various places. It might be associated with a crime scene unit specifically. You might not have a standalone underwater and search and evidence recovery unit. From my, my past, the FBI uh, has the uh, evidence response team, which it does the, all of the land-based, and the underwater search and evidence response team comes under their purview also. It's sort of a mixing of the two. We have the capability because of our size and funding to have separate, you know, we can be very specialized. A lot of departments can't be that way. And just the hierarchy, coordinators, team leaders, dive masters, the diver, other positions, medical officers, training coordinators, just a variety of different positions that you need to have to keep control uh, of the situation for custody issues, for the evidence, and for safety and security of the divers. And dive, dive, dive. Let the fun begin. Not to have a, any gratuitous advertising, but that's me. Thank you very much, right there. There you go, that's it. <laughs> you see, there's a variety of things that I'm wearing on my person here. It's about 60 to 70 pounds of equipment that you have on yourself before you go in the water. This is the way that the FBI dives. This doesn't necessarily have to be the way that, that every dive team in the world dives, depending upon your budget, your equipment, uh, your level of skills for the divers. You know, it, that is all dependent upon the department or the agency that's running the program. But this is the way I, I taught. This is what I teach still. The tubing here, those are three tubes. The yellow is air, obviously. 
And the blue is communications, and the red is what they call a fathometer, so that they'll know on the surface what depth you're at. Full face mask, uh, communications port for the communications to the surface on your ear. There's a uh, microphone in this mouthpiece here. Emergency beacons. You have a reserve air tank on your back, uh, 80 uh, cubic foot tank, aluminum tank. This is the surface supply. You have a search line that's connected to you. You're in a dry suit with a BCD with an ice harness underneath you that you're connected to the air supply and probably 20 to 30 pounds of weights in a dry suit. That's what you uh, work with uh, when you're in the water. Um, it, it's, it's great to get in the water because then you can sort of neutralize and you don't have this encumbering uh, mass weighing you down. But that's pretty much the basic outfit of a diver that you're going to do uh, any kind of underwater search and recovery with.